What's up everybody, Paul Higgy here with your data-driven daily tip today. I'm going to show you how to go into your Google Ads account and grab a remarketing tag or create an audience and then put that code into your website so that you can essentially track your website visitors and market to them. Um, and so I'm in my Google Ads audience manager. You're going to go to ads.google.com. And then what you're going to do is, if you can't find Audience Manager under Tools and Settings, they move it around quite often. You can just search for Audience Manager. And when you search for Audience Manager, you should see it. Um, audience Manager is in uh, Tools and Settings Shared Library. And that's where I am right now. <laughs> and so what I can do is... Uh, Make sure I'm on remarketing, audience lists remarketing, and click the uh, click the blue circle with the plus on it. And then all I want to do here is create a tag uh, for my website. So I'm going to click website visitors. I'm actually going to name it website visitors and then put the name of the website. So I'm going to use the same ad account for two different websites. So I'm going to do this twice. Um, Visitors of a page, you can get as complicated with this as you want. I'm just going to um, do any website visitor. But if you want to get super sophisticated, you can, you can um, write as many rules to this as you want and basically type out a path uh, and create as many um, remarketing audiences as you want. So this one I'm just going to do basically the the, anyone who visits this top level domain and any of its any of its sub pages, um, and then I'm going to put it, it's going to tell me based on the last 30 days of activity around how many people this would go out to based on cookies. And so I'm going to put the blue create audience button. Okay, so once you've created your remarketing audience, you're going to want to go over to the uh, left hand side of the page and click audience sources. Audience Manager, Audience Sources on the left-hand side. And then this is where you can actually grab the tag. So you can go Google Ads tag. And then on this page, on the Google Ads tag page, I can scroll down and see Tag Setup. Setup Instructions and Tag Code. And you can use, you can um, add the tag to your website code yourself. You can email the tag to your webmaster. Or you can install the tag using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to install the tag myself right now. It's going to give me the code. I can scroll down. And I can just copy this code right here. And it's going to tell me paste it in between the head and the end tag tag. So I've got another tab open with my website theme, and I'm going to go into the code, under the customizer, and then the head code. And then I'm going to paste it, actually right below my Google Analytics tag. My Google Ads tag is in my site. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep track of all the different audiences that I've set up under audience lists so that I can go back and remarket to the audience audiences in my audience list that I showed you earlier. So um, this is just basically a high-level overview of what Google Ads can do in terms of audiences, but it's the tactical tip on how to install the actual tag on your website. This has been your data-driven daily tip for more free digital marketing tips. Go to dataoveropinions.com. And if you need help with anything else, you can email me directly at paul at datadriven.design, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, and have a great day.